for me, I always learn best if and you mentioned this earlier, if I've got a problem and then I find the solution, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always yeah. remember that yeah. more yeah. than if I just learn something and, and then just go, right, that's a way for I that. think that's the way that people learn though, isn't there? There's some people that do learn better like that and there's people that can read a book and take in the information. Yeah. I think most people are probably hands-on learning, I'd say in general, you know, the, the high, the, you know, people that doctors and, you know, nurses maybe, yeah. you know, they're, they're a lot more intellectual, but like a lot of people, I think learn from just doing stuff. I, I wanted to ask you about this. Um, because obviously learning styles is something that I remember from being in the industry. And to Danny's point, having worked with personal trainers and led personal trainers, mm -hmm. they're amazing people that they, they, you know, they're great at just applying stuff and being on the job floor and working with people. But you try and get them to fill out a form on a PC or learn <laughs> yeah, from a textbook and yeah. whoa, it just goes over the head. So can you just talk a little bit about the different types of learning styles? Um, I'm not going to go into because they are they're, they have been well defined and there's huge amounts of research mm -hmm. in, in different styles. Um, I think w how I'm going to answer that is is understanding your own is probably more important. Yeah, that's a much better question, um, and it just goes back to just thinking about trying to get promoted. Yeah, how do I learn in the best, most efficient way to to do better? So, if you're if you're engaging in in a piece of learning, so so learning is 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 simply if you're if you're trying to inform yourself or, or you're trying to improve a skill or whatever it might be you've got to find the modality that works for you yeah. so if you're if you get enthused by reading a book great if you get enthused by having a conversation like this perfect if you can't bear either of those you want to watch a video fine um you want to listen to podcasts it's finding out what works for you and then sticking with it um and in the world of information that we have now, uh, you know, I can I can recommend a book, great book yeah. called The Trusted Advisor, really good from a, a business point of view. There are so many videos on YouTube that will tell you exactly what it's about. Mm -hmm. There are so many discussions around it that you can listen to. So there's you don't have to choose classroom based learning or I don't know whatever like you, you know academic. The options are, are pretty much endless these days. But what's important is finding out what works for you. So for me. Um, and, and I, I'm, I'm more aware of this now because in, I don't know, 2016, I, I qualified as a, as, a, as a strengths coach through Gallup. And through a what coach, sorry? A strength, strengths coach. So through Gallup, they're a global organization. You say strength? Strengths coach, not physically. Right. So okay. Strength finder. Yeah, okay. you, otherwise you would have known, right? <laughs> um, and it's, it comes from positive psychology based on the question, what would happen if we started looking at what's right with people rather than what's wrong with them? Ah, right. So and this is their strengths. Yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah. So um, for me, I lead with a, a strategic outlook um, and and then I have a conviction that actually, you know, I've done the research that, that that's probably the right thing to look at. And what that means partly for me is that I want to understand the gist of something. I need the high level overview. I won't go into the detail. I need to understand, okay, what, what are the key points? Okay, I can see how that applies. I'm done. I'm okay with that. And I can pick up pick something up quite quickly and get to grips with that. I don't want to go into the depth of it. You know, that's my style. Now I know that I can consciously engage with learning or with growth or development in that way. So again, it's back to that point of being, being really clear on what is it that you need to do and how is it that, that you're going to do that best. Um, and, and, you know, the, the strength finder piece that um, I, I just mentioned, one of that things that talks about is, being comfortable working in the way that motivates you most. And it's absolutely fine that that's totally different from anyone else because you'll be the best version of you if you focus on how you want to do it rather than trying to do how somebody else does it. I think as the future goes, I think it's definitely going to go that way more. I think they'll, you know, even universities and all that sort of stuff, especially with like open AI chat and all that sort of stuff that's coming out now. I think it's going to move more into however you find best to learn. Yeah, yeah. Then you will learn that way. And I think that's great though, because again, like me, I, I, I never really read books. I, I listen to an audio yeah, book. I, I, it's not that it's I- It's funny that we're I, doing I, a podcast, huh? I know. <laughs> well, the thing is I'll, I'll read a book and, and I'll be thinking about my day and I can't focus on the book. I can't focus on it. But if I'm listening to it, I can carry on and do my things and I can like- my consciousness goes in and out of the book as I'm listening to it, whatever yeah. I'm doing. Yeah. But if I have to sit there and read a book in silence, I'm not thinking about what I'm reading. I'm thinking about like, oh, you know, today I had that client, I had to do this, I had to do that. And then I'm, th I'm going in overdrive. I can't relax with a book. Whereas I feel like if I'm watching a YouTube, 
<laughs> showing me this book or like you said before yeah. or or an audio book or anything like yeah. that I'm, I'm in i'm in i can sit there for hours and listen to that sort of, or a podcast or anything like that and that's that's the big thing I mean, it, it's being comfortable being who you are and that's a big point from a leadership is you can't be a leader trying to be somebody else you've got to be confident in who you are as a leader yeah. and be authentic in that in that in that yeah. approach 